Are you folks ready for a fat wood hunt? Let's go. Okay, so the park has a new entrance. So I'm going to show you right now when we go by. And then we're going to hightail it into the woods and see if they knock down any of my trees so I can reach that glorious fat wood. Here it comes. behind the nursing home, okay? So they put in a new drive to bring in more people. See that? And over there is where I get a lot of my fat wood. So there's the nursing home. Here we go. A lot of people don't know about this park because it's hidden way in the back. They've even changed the name from Kimball Pines to Kimball Disc Golf. And there's the entrance right up here. For years it was, uh, the road was closed because the storm took it out in 2011. So there, they've added a new entrance and looks like they haven't opened it yet. There's the county building where they take care of the place. So we're going to find that road and then we're going to hightail it to my favorite spot and see if they left me any good trees. We still got the equipment out. Looks like they're still working. Usually I go back there to get to my spot, damn it. So they must have brought the entrance in through here. This is where there used to be piles and piles of trees. Wow, this is gonna be killer. I think you get more funds when you bring more people in, if I'm understanding right. Damn, we're gonna have a long ass walk having to go this way. Looks like they're planning on growing this back up. Very nice. Very nice. They're not leaving us much of a spot to park though. Wow, they even moved my favorite log. Hell, they moved a lot of my favorite logs. <laughs> We're going to have a long walk because we can't park way over there. <laughs> That's all right. This is going to be fun. Man, I guess I, I'm going to get to see when I take, because this is the North Country Trail. When I take that all the way around and finally get to where I usually park, we're going to have to cross that entrance that they just made. It's going to be interesting to see what that looks like. Let's go. Check it out, they're putting in a new path. Almost wonder if they're gonna take out that one and put this in instead. See over there? I wonder what's been taking them so long. They're doing more than a driveway. And there's the North Country Trail Scenic Trail. And then well, you know what? They just recently paved this. I wonder if it's because they are going to reroute it. Let's go see if this end is still dirt. That's the way we're going anyways. I'm cheating today. Taking the cart. Probably going to regret not wearing pants. We're going in where it's pretty thick. Maybe they are leaving the original one. It's paved. And the pavement stops there. 
Yeah, I remember walking this trail as a little girl. So here's where we're parked. This is the scenic trail, that blue dotted line. We're right here. We're going to follow this and right about here is where the new entrance is. We're going to follow this around the curve, almost to the road, head into the woods, right there. Never take fatwood from the biological preserve. There's where I came from. There's where I'm going. Here's where we're going to sneak in and take a peek. Ooh, nettles. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, I knew I was going to regret not wearing pants. Yeah, they're doing some serious action. Check that out. A new trail. Oh, I'm so glad I have so much of this park documented. The new entrance. We still got to get over there, figure out how we cross. This is all hardwoods here. That looks like an old fatwood stump. This place is so full of fatwood stumps. Back on the trail. Oh, we're going down the rocks. Wow, this is crazy. Right where he's parked is where I used to park. And on the other side of him was a big ass pile of pines. This used to be that and that. They literally went right through it to the road. We gotta go all the way around. Wow, it's so different. Looks like they're doing it right, too. Got a culvert, passage for water. Very nice. I hope they're doing the drains right. Wow. Man. Look how thick that is. And this cart is made for steps and works great for logs. It could be a little bit longer for a tall chick. Oh, wow. Holy crap. They're putting a the trail through here, too? I'll be damned, so this is going to go all the way to where we parked. I can hear the road already. Still got a ways to go. Over here's where I go in at. My poor legs are going to get all tore up too, I bet. Yeah, I'll be able to get in there. No problem. Got to watch for uh, wasps and bees. I'll show you this real quick. So there's the nursing home. Oh. This little smoking area over here for the ladies at work and the gentlemen. One time I come tearing from out of the woods to join the ladies and they scared them and they screamed. I felt so bad. 
but I like to get in through here too. It actually looks clear enough I might be able to get in better this way. Now the fun part. Time to go bushwhacking. Hi. Busted. I think I'm going to carry my cart. Yep, got to watch for bees around here. Isn't that beautiful? Poison ivy too. Yeah, this is Pine Knot City in here. Nice pine knots. Fat wood in that. Most of the fat wood here in this neck of the woods is red pine. I used to love to play around back here all the time. Countless pine knots. Look at the girth on that one, huh? We're here to go down that way. Walk over that way to the new entrance and see if some of those trees full of high octane have been knocked down and I can reach the branches. So we're going that way. Gotta grab the cart first. I gotta get through here without grabbing everything. Check this out. As the trees sway, the sunspot sways. Ooh, isn't that cool? Yeah, I haven't been able to start going that way because I'm finding old stash piles of mine. I have stash piles all over this place. And them are some nice piles. Man, oh man. Oh. I'm going to stash my bag right here. And uh, we are going to go this way. Should take uh, this and uh, mm -hmm. this. Okay, hey, hopefully that's all we need. Let's go do some snooping, shall we? Trees are trying to take my clothes off. Man, I'm walking all over pine knots. Okay, back to standing up straight. Over here is where that little smoke shack is. Excuse me, a uh, smoke break spot. I've got some killer fatwood back here before. This is why I tell people if you want to go fatwood hunting with me, come on out. Bring a bag. It's an all you can pick buffet. All right, there's the road. Some of these uh, red pines up there got some killer branches and I'm always waiting for them to fall down. There's the new entrance over there. That's where we're gonna go. Get some pretty big mushrooms in here too. big pile of pine knots over there. Look at the size of that one.
They had to take some of them pines down. I bet you they took them with them when they took them big ass gigantic piles and piles and piles of dead trees. I'm glad I picked one, picked while they were still there. My top video is high octane Michigan gold score was from one of them piles. And they're all gone now. Well, that's a hardwood. Man, they took my favorite ones. They did too. They took my favorite ones. Shit, man. <laughs> I had a feeling it was gonna be bad news. I think that's why I've been putting off doing this. It's all right, we're gonna go over there and check on our other trees. This is a construction zone. And man, they just opened it up for all the pokeweed. Stinking pokeweed, man. Purple berries. Purple berries with a big purple stalk. Destroy them before they go purple berry. Because the birds lead them, poop them out, and replant them everywhere. I feel a shoelace hitting me. No, nope, I'm good. Yeah, they're uh, doing the drains. I hope they're doing them right. You know how often they don't. Man, they took my favorite trees. Trees I've been waiting to fall and they're gone. At least I've got videos of them. Let's see what we still have over here. Here's one. Over here looks still still looks okay. I don't think that one's going to fall anytime soon. Man, they even took the one that was holding that sapling down. Man, those branches are so yummy looking. These ones are not quite. These ones are dry. Blah, who wants those? But that sucker right there. I'm fixing to get me a saw with a 10 foot pole on it. But I've been waiting for ones like these to fall. Cause that's some killer fatwood. But uh, it's actually nice to still have some pine standing, you know? Beautiful pine knots. I'm gonna have to collect some. Damn, I didn't realize I was zoomed in. That's a nice one. Ooh, yummy. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, they took down the good pines and a bet a billion pine knots too. Had I known they were gonna do that this year, I would have made a last dash. <laughs> Looks like they're not doing the draining too good. <laughs> High octane. This one's still alive. All right, I think I'm gonna start collecting little knots on the ground. Looks like that's all I'm gonna get. We'll go see what this down one has. We got a down pine over here.
almost looks like white pine. Oh, I see shine. <laughs> I see signs of Shalisa over here. Shalisa has been here. Most of these are dry. That's why I left them. Looks like I took the best ones. Damn, that's a big ass vine. Look at that thing, man. Christ Almighty. Yeah. Looks like I picked that one. <laughs> and I do believe I'm going to go back and start collecting pine knots. And then right over here is the dead end to a street. Whoa, look at the size of that monster. Looks pretty dry though. This camera tries to balance out and it does that shake thing. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Let's go back and start collecting pine knots. That's pretty cool looking, huh? There's some more over here. What's that guys? I'll take a picture from my phone, put it on my app. Resin. Veins of glorious resin. Oh man. Look at that big beauty. That one would be a big ass task right there. I doubt I'd be so lucky to be able to kick that out. I'll definitely remember it. Come back another time. Wow. She's bleeding with resin. Look at that. Here's your fat wood fix, guys. Huh? What do you think of that? Butamus. I doubt it'll kick free. Well, kinda did. Ooh, there's another big one under there. Looks like she's coming home with me. Get this damn lanyard out of the way, guys, so you quit seeing the tail flapping. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Come on with me. I got a special place for you. You'll be way happier. So I twisted that end off. And I got this one free. She's coming home with me. Let's see what that other one's like. That's not a pine knot. But this is. Look at that, huh? Two of them. Oh no, it got me again. You think I'd learn, right? I'm 
sweating all over my camera. Now I'm curious. Is there more? Not sure if I got it in me. Nope, no more. Good deal. So we got three, looks like. Three chunks anyways. That's one. That's two. And that's three. Yeah, buddy. Let's go back to the small stuff for now. That may... That right there really made for the loss of such good red pines. We made up for it. How I'm gonna get home is another thing. Baby steps. Anyone recognize this? I think she changed her channel name to Nerding for Nature. But this is the last grown up in the woods. Thank you, Carly. When I get my Fatwood Queen buffs, you're gonna get one too. Time to collect some little knots to put in my bag, and then we'll figure out which one of them chunks I wanna bring with me. I might move all three pieces up by that little smoke spot. That way I can grab them any time. Time to take a break first. Time to pick pine knots. Yeah, buddy. What else we got, huh? Yeah, nice pine knot, huh? Check this out over here. Where'd it go? Right there. That one's not so good. See that? See them big ones in there? Another one behind it. Cluster of them over there. Yay, I got you working again. <laughs> I dinged up my camera once again. I, uh, <laughs> where was I? I was busting these breaking them down so I can fit them in the bag. That's what I'm doing right now. See that beautiful resin? We got all the rest of these to clean up because we don't need to take all that extra crap. We want to lighten our load. You know? That's a nice one. Plenty of nice ones. That one's kind of cool. 
I've been needing to make a perch for my bird feeder. Maybe I can make it out of fatwood. These things are everywhere. That one, I think I'm going to carry the whole thing. Hopefully we can fit that one in the bag. Even though it looks rough from being in the dirt, I guarantee you this one's worth carrying back. Oops. This one's good. Nope. Mm, maybe. That one's good over there. I'm not going to bother with that one. This mother is heavy. Been trying to pick out the rot. I might leave this one and uh, let it dry up. Definitely taking this baby. It's a big bleeding pine knot. That one's coming for sure. We gotta haul it across the new entryway. found a Mountain Dew bottle if anyone wants it. Normally I'd leave it, but hey, I thought maybe one of you guys wants it. I'll put it on the Etsy store for a couple bucks. I just kicked this cluster down. You can see the resin. That way it'll fit in my bag. And then we'll haul these two pieces over there. Stash them. Here we go. That one and that one. Woo! I made it over here. I managed to break that big cluster in half. Oh man, what a long ways we got to go. I didn't leave much back there. I nearly forgot about that one. <laughs> Too funny, man. Let's go. Yeehaw! I think my thighs took more of a hurting than my lower legs. I got all dirty, too. I am just, phew. As you can see, I made it to the uh, little smoke corner. I'm out of the thick. <laughs> Sometimes it's a real blessing to be just out of the thick and to be able to stand up straight. That's what I mean by bushwhacking. You're no longer on the trail. Time to take a long break and then we're going to figure out how much we can take at once. <laughs> so I'm going through my bag on my little cart here. I don't know why the hell I had my needle nose pliers on me. That's a big set too. Awful lot of weight. <laughs> really didn't need that. But we're going to see how much fat would we can fit in here. We got that. And we got that. To get back to the car. Get a load of that. Ha <laughs> ha. I think I might be able to take all of it with me after all. 
with a little room to spare. That one goes around my shoulder. That one goes in one hand, and that in the other. Yeehaw! I made it up the first hill, but this thing's heavy. If only this handle was up this much. Got about three more hills to climb. About a half mile. See my car? I do. Well, that's right, my camera's screwed up. Oh. If only I could bring my car all the way to here. <laughs> nope. Get back in the bag. Be able to turn around right there. Ha <laughs> ha. Them disc golfers was looking at me. I floored it. Uh -huh. They're gonna think, oh, well, I guess she couldn't get out. She had to turn around. Little do they know. I got me some fat with it. <laughs> Home sweet home, let's get the wood out, shall we? <laughs> Hell yeah! Haha, <laughs> yeehaw! Freaking bleeding pine knot, man. Look at that. Score! Mama D's over there rocking out. Oh yeah. I found my phone. It don't seem to be too dinged up. Hey, it's almost 420. Good timing. I really don't know if this one was really worth it, but it's got some great patterns to it. Definitely uh, resinous. We, uh, Ended up with some pretty nice big pine knots. Hey, come back. There's a nice one. I think I'd rather split this one right here. Nice. Can't end the video without a tease. Look at that. Pretty stuff.
There you go. High octane. Let's get a nice knife and smooth that out and fire it up. Got to knock some of this off first. Yep, there goes that sun. I got Dark Matter and Sunset Bay Bonnie here. Yeah, I don't mind beating up Dark Matter a little bit. I'm a forgiving person, but I don't forget. Your kindness is appreciated, but not your meanness. This fire's for Matt <clears throat> and BYR31. Fires for you. Time to clean it up. Yep, yep. I've already been cleaning some of it up. Some beautiful stuff, man. Ta-da! And we got a lot of crap to take off, don't we? Nice color. Very nice, huh? Beautiful, beautiful pine knot. Isn't that resinous? Good stuff. Sad part about this one, it's dry within. Take a while to get that dry out. I wouldn't send it in the mail because it could have an ant nest in it. You'd be surprised how many ants can come out of these pieces of wood. Here they come. I had ants coming out of here. Gosh darn it. Yeah, they get up in here. That's where they get. That's what I've been learning. They're in the knot cuff. Definitely not in there. No pun intended. I accidentally uh, sliced some of the honey resin off of there. Chopping on it. Well, I got all the ants out of it. Kind of goofed up some of the beautiful resin bubbles. Cleaning it up. Looks like fire flames. Look at it. Fire flames going this way and that way. See that? Fire flames. Fire, fire. So I took the whole knot out, took out the dry part, took off the whole cuff, left a little bit of natural sticky all over my hand. Look at that glorious resin. Fire knot. Man, that thing looked so cool. I took a picture of it. I was like, wow, and I was going to take a little more off just to get it more red and not show any damn tool marks. And I got a little carried away. Still a pretty cool pine knot, though. Look at that resin in there.
Nice chunk. Real nice chunk. See that? Very nice. Very nice. There's what I processed. Forgot about that branch. But I'm done for the day. Keep it burning, everyone. Love you guys. Yes, indeed. The other tree is falling. Stuck on that tree. Wedged in this tree. Had to hack and whack my way to get out here. Get a little bit wild. But it looks like she's down. Unfortunately, not all the way down. Yeah, she's, she's falling. Not very safe. At least she's wedged in there. Whoa. Oh, hello there. They got some pieces down there. Those are no good. This one here is a heck of a piece, but it's a little skinny too.